Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you will see some very short examples of the Solid Edge 2D drafting training for the free Solid Edge draft application. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This next preview is part of the third training session and shows how to use some of the dimension and constraint tools. All the dimension tools can be found in the dimensions group on the home ribbon. The smart dimension command is a very versatile tool and will dimension single or multiple elements. When the command is selected, the command bar appears with all the relevant options. This allows us to control the look or format by applying a style from the drop-down list. We'll be covering styles in a later training session. The text scale can be controlled and we can set the number of decimal places by setting the round off. The properties section allows control over the type of dimension to be placed and the tolerance section allows a tolerance or a prefix to be assigned. We'll start simply by dimensioning single elements. This is done simply by left clicking an element and placing the dimension on the sheet with another left click. Lines will create a linear dimension, arcs will create a radial dimension and circles will create a diameter dimension. Picking an angled line and holding shift will create a horizontal or vertical dimension. When dimensions are initially created, a dialog will appear allowing its value to be overridden. This is because the Maintain Relationships option is set under the Tools ribbon. If this was not set, the dialog would not appear. If required, we can override the defaults by using the options in the command bar. For instance, selecting a single angled line and hitting the Angle option in the command bar will create an angled dimension. A useful keyboard shortcut for this is just to hit the A key on the keyboard. The same is true for arcs. We can choose to display the dimension as a diameter, a length, or an angle. The Smart Dimension command will also cope with multiple elements. If we select this first line, instead of placing the dimension down, we can go and select another element to create a distance between dimension. The mouse can then be moved into the appropriate location to infer either a horizontal or a vertical dimension. At this time holding the shift key down will also create an aligned dimension. We'll repeat this same process on some other areas of this drawing. Here, selecting the three circles has given an angle dimension. Also, when selecting two separate lines, the Smart Dimension command can retrieve the angle. This is done either by selecting the option in the command bar or hitting the A key on the keyboard. The Distance Between command will create dimensions between two elements or points. Once again, options for the dimension appear within the command bar. To illustrate some of these concepts, we'll open up example 2. By default, in the 2D environment, we cannot see the geometric relationships as their display is off. However, they can be switched on by toggling the Relationship Handle option under the View ribbon. Now we can see the various glyphs indicating the constraints that were added to the geometry as it was drawn. It is also possible to add more constraints after the geometry has been created if required. All the additional constraint commands can be found in the Relate group on the Sketching ribbon. We'll start by looking at the Connect relationship. These are created automatically when lines are connected to other elements and key points. However, to add a Connect relationship, we simply need to pick the two key points, and the first one will move and connect with the second one as shown, when we connect the endpoint of this vertical line to this horizontal line. Then the end of this one to somewhere along this one. Or then connect the end of this line to the centre of this circle. Notice the square connect relationship that is created for a key point connect and the cross for a point on connect. Also note that the first element selected is the one that moves. All the relationship commands work in this way 
that is unless something else is constraining the first element, which is stopping it from being moved. Horizontal and vertical constraints are created when lines are drawn, which are either horizontal or vertical. To add these relationships to existing geometry, we can use the horizontal vertical command. This will work in two ways. If we select an element such as a line away from one of its key points, it will make the line either horizontal or vertical, whichever is closer. We can see this here as we add the relationships to these four lines to form a rectangle. The relationship is shown as a plus symbol on the line. 